Hello viewers, this is Wagoda Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on differentiation and in this lesson we are going to talk about the concept behind chain rule. So in the previous lesson of chain rule we came up with the following solutions to, the, to this problem, problem 1 and problem 2 and you are left with an assignment to try out these problems, problem 1 and problem 2 with those answers. Now in today's tutorial we are going to talk about the concept behind chain rule. In other words, you may not use, you can use chain rule indirectly by using this concept. So if y is equal to fx raised to the power n, where fx is the function of x, then dy dx is equal to the power on fx multiplied by the expression of y, but with the power reduced by 1, multiplied by derivative of fx. In other words, the power on fx is n, so come and put here n, multiplied by expression of y, but with the power reduced by 1. So this was the expression of y. When you reduce the power by 1, you'll get fx raised to the power n minus 1, which is this. Then again, you multiply by the derivative of fx. Derivative of fx is given by f prime x. So with this concept, this concept works the same way as chain rule. In other words, we have used chain rule indirectly. So shall use this concept to come up with the, with the problems, solutions to the problems in the previous lesson. So problem one, they wanted you to differentiate 2x plus 3 raised to the power 5 with respect to x. And when you use chain rule in the previous lesson, you came up with 10 in brackets 2x plus 3 raised to the power 4. Now we want to see if we use this concept, we shall come up with the same answer. So let y be equal to 2x plus 3 raised to the power 5. And in, when you compare it with this expression of y, you realize that your fx is equal to 2x plus 5. And your n is equal to 5. Therefore, f prime x will be equal to 2. The derivative of 2x plus 3 will be 2. Then you come and code the formula for dy dx n, then that and that. So substitute for n, which is 5. Substitute for fx, which is 2x plus 3, n minus 1 is 4, then f prime x is 2. When you simplify, 5 and 2 will give you 10. Then you'll get 10 in brackets 2x plus 3, everything raised to the power 4. I think you can see that this answer is the same as this, which we got while using chain rule in the previous lesson. So we shall also use the same concept to come up with a solution to this problem was also covered in the previous lesson. So we shall let y be equal to the given function, which is 1 over that. So when you use negative indices, you come up with this, 3x cubed plus 2, everything raised to the power negative half. So in this case, your n, by comparison, your n is equal to negative half, and your fx is equal to 3x cubed plus 2. Therefore, n is here negative half fx is equal to 3x cubed plus 2. Therefore, f prime x will be equal to 9x squared. So when you code this formula, we shall substitute n, negative a half, fx, which is 3x cubed plus 2, n minus 1, which is, so here you'll get negative a half minus 1, you'll give you negative 3 over 2. Multiply by f prime x, which is 9x squared, which is 9, which is here. Now, when you simplify, you will come up with negative 9 over 2, x squared, everything in brackets, you put 3x cubed plus 2, everything raised to the power, negative 3 over 2. I think I'll that the answer is as the one got in the previous lesson using chain rule. So, you are also told to come up with a solution to these problems. Problem 1, you are told to get the derivative of that, and this was the expected answer. So shall use the concept of chain rule to see if we can get the same answer. So y is equal to this, which is given. And when you compare, fx is equal to 2x cubed plus 3, and n is 5. Therefore, f prime x will be 6x squared. When you substitute in the given formula, n is 5, fx is 2x cubed plus 3, and n minus 1 is 4, then the derivative f prime x will be 6x squared. So when you simplify, you come up with 30x squared, everything in brackets, you will put 2x cubed plus 3, 
close brackets and raise the power 4. I think I said that the answer is as before. Then problem 2 in the assignment they also get, told you to differentiate square root of x squared minus 1 over x squared with respect to x and the expected answer was x to power 4 plus 1 everything divided by x squared in square root of x power 4 minus 1 so in this case we shall let y to be equal to the given expression x squared minus 1 over x squared so using negative indices this becomes x power negative 1 and this square root becomes the power of a half by comparison with the general formula general expression of y we shall get our n as a half and our fx as x squared minus x to power negative 2 which is that so we shall differentiate this to get f prime x so when you differentiate x squared you will get 2x and differentiate x to power negative 2 you will get negative 2 x to power negative 3 so when you open brackets we shall and factorize we shall come up with 2 x power negative 3 everything in brackets we shall put x power 4 plus 1 okay now that we have got f prime x we can now substitute in the formula n is a half fx is x squared minus x power negative 2 n minus, n minus 1 is got by a half minus 1 which is negative a half then f prime x is this, so come and substitute it there. When we simplify, we shall come up with this, for example. So I think I can see that this is multiplied by this and multiplied by that. So this a half multiplied by 2, will this 2 will cancel and you get 1. So in other words, this a half will go with 2 and remain with x power negative 3 in brackets to get x power 4 plus 1 so this will be put here and then you have this which is that now for this one if you look at this they have a common factor which is x power negative 2 so pull out x power negative 2 you remain with x power 4 minus 1 but everything is raised to the power negative a half so this negative a half by this you get positive 1 which is this x power 1 and this one by negative by negative a half it will, it will remain there so you get x in brackets x minus 4 x power 4 minus 1 raised to the power negative a half now you shall again collect like terms this x and this x same base at the powers you'll get power as negative 2 which is that then this one bring it here and this bring it there so this negative index can be expressed as a square root when you take it to be the denominator and also similarly to this negative 2 can go down to become x squared so this is what they wanted I think we can see that as before so with that concept you I want you to use this concept behind chain rule to come up with the derivatives of the following functions 1 is square root of 2x cubed minus 3 2 is 1 over x squared minus 1 and 3 is 1 over root of x minus 1 everything squared and Roman 4 2 over x plus 2 root x and the expected answer that is this is the expected answer for Roman 1 Roman 2 Roman 3 and Roman 4 so that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform.